Merry Christmas, everybody! It's Friday. I'm Billy, the Crafty Floridian, and these are the things I forget to say, but I wanted to welcome all of you to my channel, and the old people that had joined me from the beginning, and new ones. Every day when I look through, I see a new subscriber, and I want to say hi to all of you, and welcome to my channel. It's uh, not much, but it's me. And um, my anniversary is coming up January the 1st. January the 1st. You remember that, Deb, way back then? <laughs> A year ago? Uh, yeah, Deb from the Canadian uh, Crutcher. We were emailing each other. And she's the one that recommended me doing a, a podcast. So here I am a year later. I love you guys. I'm trying to drink a lot because my legs are killing me today. So I'll tell you, um, I'll tell you my story. Yesterday I went to the uh, surgeon's office and everything's looking good. Uh, my bend, my bend is good, perfect. The um, stretching my leg out flat is not so good but you know I couldn't do it before the surgery and now that I've had the surgery but it's still quite swollen and like I told her as the swelling goes down I'm easier it's easier for me to to um, to do my exercises and stuff so I have to work on flattening my leg but she put me up on the table and of course she you know had me draw my leg up and that was perfect she didn't bother me but when I went to straighten it um, it was as straight as I could get it because it's still very hard and swollen on the top so she pressed down on it well after she pressed on it all night all day this morning it's been hurting like a son of a gun so finally I couldn't get my leg I couldn't lay I got up I was going to do laundry but my legs um, my legs ache so bad you know like like leg aches like when you're growing up when you're a kid and I do have restless legs but I took my meds this morning and I still so I figured oh god I just got to get it out of my mind and just go with the flow I got my tissues today so if I sneeze I got my tissue so um, yesterday I did that and then was the fun time then I met Karen and Jim, my friends. They live up in Sarasota that I go visit all the time. And she's the same age as I am. And he's uh, 90, 90, 91, somewhere around there. And she's 74. Yeah, she's 74. So anyway, um, met them at, at this place called the Blue Bistro in Venice. If you're ever in Venice, you have to go there. You're talking about the best homemade food, and they make a lot of gluten-free. So yesterday I had blackened grouper sandwich, and they put this sauce on it, and then it had greens, and the funny little greens, <laughs> with gluten-free bread and chips that they make themselves. Oh, my God. You could They're real thin and crispy. They are just delicious. And they serve fruit, fresh fruit and everything. But um, I had the grouper. Karen had the chicken. And um, Jim had the uh, burger. Had, the burger was a, a special yesterday. But it was delicious. And we had, while well, they were serving, uh, for, the, for the luncheon, they were serving cranberry mimosas. Well, when you're on blood thinners, you can't have cranberry juice. So I had, um, I asked her if I could just have a regular mimosa. Mimosa? So anyway, I had a regular one. It's champagne and orange juice. And she had the cranberry. Cranberry really looked good. She said it was very tasty. So I had that, coffee, and iced tea. <laughs> Those were all the drinks. <laughs> we had more drinks than we had plates. <laughs> But anyway, it was delicious. We laughed. Um, it was so much fun. 
and for Christmas I gave her one of my cups and she just loved it. She said, you know, my house is full of you. <laughs> Every room has something of yours in it. And she just, she just loves, she is the yarny kind of person that you can give something to and she appreciates it and uses it and all this. And I had made her an afghan long, long time ago. And I did it in a cream color because she has browns and all that in her living room. So she said, oh yeah, Bailey, That they have two dogs, Bailey and Buster. And Bailey loves that blanket, she said. Um, the other thing I made, and if, and I know y'all have seen it, it's in teal and it was draped on, the, bo on the, the, the end of her bed. Well, she had to take that up because Buster was needing it and she was afraid he, he would tear it apart. So she had to put that away. So anyway, we had a great lunch. It was um, very breezy because we were on the island and, you know, it was the wind from the ocean and everything. So it was quite chilly. It was in like 60, 62, something like that yesterday. But we had a lovely lunch and then we pull out of the driveway. She takes a right, I take a left and she went her way and I went my way. But we had a... a a, a nice lunch and they treated me of course they would let me pay uh, I bought lunch last time I finally got that out of them and they gave me a nice um, Amazon uh, gift card which is wonderful and we, it was just a lovely day I came home and then I took a nap <laughs> I was tired and uh, um, Penny across the hall she made um, Oh, spaghetti sauce and I have some gluten free spaghetti noodles and but I, I told her I said can we do it tomorrow night because I am just too full when I eat like that at lunchtime I can't eat at night you know I just have to some light so I had a couple of um, cuties <laughs> you know those little cutie oranges or whatever oranges here are very good this time of the year so because we can pick them off the trees if we want to um, I don't know where Rosie is. I know she doesn't hasn't been um, showing up lately. I think she's in the bedroom, probably sleeping. Um, yarny wise, what have I done? Yarny wise, it's not a not. I didn't do much at all yesterday. I did. You saw the tote, right? You saw the tote that I put together, and you know that's one side. This is the other, and then I went through. And I picked what I want to put. And I'll show you. This is going to, the fabric, this black, is going to be on, will show through, let's see, I'll show you through this yellow here. That's going to be on the outside. See, and you, I just, I really like the black better than any other color, to be honest with you. Right. So that'll come through, that'll be on the outside inside of the outside and then this fabric was given to me and I just loved it and it is um, these are birds see the birds in Afflatown it says love life live that's going to be the interior you know when you look in the bag that's going to be the interior of the, the bag so I finally picked the fabric now I just need to to cut it and kind of sew it together and I got a padding in there that I'm going to put in and then uh, put it in the bag and sew it around sew it around the top so you just you have to hand sew it and you'll just hand sew it right around the top there so yes yeah, so I got that picked out then oh that fell over then the other thing is I did finish this, well, this is the, I think this is the left side. This is the left side. This is what they call a small. I'm doing a small. This is the right side, and I'm doing the extensions on the right side now. So that'll go on this side. So, and there'll be extensions here and, and, and then on the bottom. So I finally got the bot the main thing done now I'm doing the extensions for the bottom and the back so yeah so I worked on that got that done not done but I'm work that's what I'm working on now 
So let's see which way. Oh, wait a minute. I got it going the wrong. Come here. That goes here. So, so I fin I'll do the extension on this one. Mm. Extension on the other one and the sleeves. And then, then you put it together and then you do the extension on the bottom. It's so easy to put together. Now this is the um, Day Day Date Cardigan by Make and Do Crew. That's I didn't print. You know my printer is low on um, is low. It doesn't have any color, so I didn't print out the the picture and everything. And I lost. I must have lost the directions in the hospital because. I can't find the original direction um, directions. So those that that I'm determined to finish. I still haven't got the yarn. I've got I can't remember where I ordered it from for the other sweater that I was making. But you better believe I'm going to. Maybe I screwed up somewhere. I don't know. But anyway, and then I have yesterday. Uh, Yesterday, I received a package from Amazon, and when I opened it, it was in hundreds of little pieces. I was so upset, and I'm trying to be careful because it, it all, chip, there's a bunch of little chip pieces in there, but it's, um, it's about crocheting and a head. Anyway, it just upset me terrible. And Rosie, I try. I would like to have. I would like to have it replaced. But when I went on Amazon, they do a refund or something. Well, I'm not sending this back like this. This is ridiculous. So, I don't know. I was very disappointed. It says something like, "I'm an amazing hooker. Be jealous." And then it said something on the other side, but I can't read it because it's. I didn't want to. That's where the most pieces are broken off. And I was so disappointed. It really, really disappointed me. Because I really wanted that cup. But anyway, so Rosie M. from uh, Rosie M. sent that to me. And I thank you very much for the thought. And I'm so sorry that it broke. Um, but daggone it, what am I going to do, Right. And let's see, I got some cards. Let's see, I'll, I'll show you some of those. Um, this is from, oh, this is from my friend Deb. It says Joy. It's easier doing it. This, oh, and this card is just beautiful. Look at this card. Isn't that pretty? Look at Santa Claus. I just think he's so cute. And this is Wish You America Happy New Year. A yarn addict, Karen Mc, um, with GHBF or McCaffron? McCaffron? Is that it? But anyway, I just, I know she didn't want, she she wanted to, um, didn't want me to sh show this. I mean, read this, and I'm not. But I, you know the story I told about the, um, the gumdrop tree that Mama used to do every Christmas? Well, she wanted me to have a gumdrop tree, so she drew me one. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I just loved it. I just loved it. When I saw it, I said, oh, my gosh, that's Mama's gumdrop tree. But she did a pretty decent job. Looked just like that, too. Thank you so much. I love it, the gumdrop tree. Thank you so much. And I did read your card, and, and um, thank you. It, really, it meant a lot to me. And let's see. And she has a channel called A Yarn Attic. And she's from Georgia. And then this card, Winter Wonderland. I got another one just like it over there. It's a very popular card, isn't it? That's so pretty. And this is from Shelly. Um, and, and Mr. Sassy. <laughs> this is Shelly Sassy Stitches. But it, that's a beautiful card, isn't it? Crochet. Very pretty. Thank you so much. And this one. Tis the season to be jolly. See how it's written in the snowman? Isn't that pretty with the, the uh, cardinal up there? 
and this is from Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. I love it. And Barbara's from Saginaw, Saginaw, Michigan. And here's another beautiful card. And this is from Shirley from New York. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Wishing you a glorious holiday, Shirley. Beautiful card. I just love that card. Thank you so much. I mean, Shirley. Yeah, I said Shirley, right? And then Mama, Marsha, Mama, Marsha, she made me, she made this card. And it says, let it snow. We don't want it to snow here in Florida. Whoops. And then when you open it, it's got all these little things all over it and little snowflakes. She's got snowflakes in there. She sent me some tea. She says, I think with her work and everything, she's got behind on everything, especially videos, she says. Hope this season builds heartwarming memories. Merry Christmas. Thank you. All the little things come out. And then I got this a lovely card from Ireland. I was tickled to death to get this card. Isn't that beautiful? And this is from, I hope I can say this, your first name right. Mara Reed, Mara Reed, Mara Reed. And it says, with very special Christmas wishes. But isn't that cool? Yeah, love it. Thank you so much. And then I got this card. Now, these, these three cards, two cards I got yesterday, I think. But look at this with the three wise men. Isn't that pretty? And he shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Priest of Peace. May you know the joy and peace of the Lord at Christmas time and always. Linda Kaiser. Oh, you're so sweet, Linda. I just love that. Isn't that beautiful? I love that card, Linda. Let's see. Merry Little Christmas from this is, this is from Lisa's Crochet in Canada. I was tickled to get that too. Merry Little Christmas. Best wishes for a special Christmas and New Year filled with happiness. Healing wishes sent your way. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Lisa's Crochet. Oh, she said, thanks for introducing me to paint box yarns. She was in the um, summer swap summer carousel and she i sent the box to her first and uh she was introduced to paint box and y'all know you know the history on that <laughs> isn't that something see i guess i got that covered so those are and joanne's having some sales uh january 5th through the 8th if you get five dollars off your purchase of thirty dollars or more but it has to be in the store only. And $20 off your purchase of $75 or more. And $30, $30 off your purchase of $100 and more. And, uh, boy, I wish I, I wish I could do some shopping. Because they got, um, like, 40 and 50%, 60% off of all kinds of uh, fabric. So, you all need to check that out. And then, then there's some, oh, December 26th through the 28th, $5 off, $10 off, $15 off. So if you get, so check it out. Now I got that. And then I got from a house, from, from Blue Cross Blue Shield, uh, who is my insurance company, got a big old envelope today and it lists all the things from the hospital. Getting a knee replaced. They charge 100 and hundred and eleven thousand dollars yep and I think my my um, I did get a bill my part of it is like two thousand dollars yeah two thousand dollars going oh my god where is Billy gonna get two thousand dollars almost I'm gonna call them and see what we 
arrangements we can make or get them to write it off <laughs> would be nice wouldn't it <laughs> so anyway so that's that's it I had a great day yesterday with the doc and lunch and uh, got cards and stuff oh wait a minute she picked that card out I don't know if I showed you oh I think I showed you this with the bear yeah I showed you that that yeah I'm sort of sorry to move you all around I just kind of I have things every I, I just it, it to do to pick up and to move and to do laundry I told you I changed my sheets last night Penny came over she helped me change my sheets so now I've got seven weeks of sheets to wash and I put it in the basket to take it take it down the hall to the laundry base but I'm telling I just, my legs just don't want to go down there. <laughs> the rest of me does, but my legs don't want to go down there to get to the laundry room. I know I should, I should break down and do that, and I think I will. And um, I think that's it. They're having a Christmas party over at the. Uh, community center 12 to 1 or something. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. I don't get involved with those. Because if you go, all those old people do is talk about their illnesses and medicine and operations and stuff. Well, I've been through that. I don't want to talk about that stuff. Um, I did talk to my sister and we're not going to get together on Christmas Eve. Um, and Karen also uh, told me the traffic up there is awful in Sarasota. Just awful. So for them, that's, you know, it's back to back. And what used to take you about 15, 20 minutes to get to could take you up to an hour and a half. That's how bad it is. Um, there's University Boulevard where I used to live. And it's an exchange kind of thing. Uh, she said it would t it, that you would sit there through three and four lights. Yeah, because the way they've got it, it gets so backed up, and there's it's a shopping center in there, off a of university, and um, and I would love to do something, but I'm telling you, with this leg and this, oh, I'm standing there in the restaurant yesterday. We were at the we were on our way out and at, standing at the counter. I've got my cane with me. I'm being very careful. I'm watching every move I make. Because we had sit for so long, you know, and it gets really stiff and it was hurting. So this woman walks in with the gentleman. And instead of looking where she's going, she's turning around, talking to somebody that's standing behind her. And she's directly, she's, her direction is right into me, into my life. So I took my cane. <laughs> so I took my cane and I put it like right in front of her. I said, please be careful and don't hit my knee. <laughs> she looked at me like, oh, excuse me. I said, yeah, you're not going to hurt. This is a $200,000 knee. I don't want anything to happen to it. But yeah, didn't even watch where she was going. But I took, I had my cane. I showed her what that cane meant. She wasn't going to get close to me at all. But she was just busy talking, 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 chit chat. Pat just came down. She brought me some uh, candy and some Oreos and some chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. What do you call it? Hot chocolate? Dove. Mints. Isn't that sweet? So, so that's about it. I'm going to, um, I'm, I think I'm just going to relax my legs for a little while and they stop hurting them. Maybe I'll go in and do the sewing I found because I made two, I made two, um, two bags and a, three cozies. Because I took my, oh, when I went to the doctor, oh, listen to this. 
so I, I took, I took, I made the ones with the heart, you know, the heart monitor on it and also the one with the scope and everything on it for her and her husband. So she, um, I gave it to her. She says, what is this? I said, it's a bowl cozy. You put a bowl. She says, she's Asian, right? Real tall. She's like five foot nine or 10 and real lanky. I mean, my leg is as wide as she is. One leg, one leg. But she's, she just, and so she said, oh, I could put my rice in here, a bowl of rice. I said, absolutely, and stick it in the microwave. She said, well, doesn't it get hot? And I said, no, that's the whole idea. It's like a, like a heating pad. I mean, it's like a pad. So, you know, so I explained that all to her. She says, because she just got married December the 5th. She says, well, you want to see a picture of the wedding? I said, sure, I like to see a picture of your wedding. So she showed me a picture of her husband. And I looked at him and I went, oh, my God. I said, you got some eye candy there. <laughs> I said, what's his name? She said, Stuart. <laughs> I said, boy, you got lucky, girl. <laughs> I think she thought I was nuts. <laughs> but, oh, he was good looking. And it was a picture of them by a tree. It must be in a palm tree. I don't know. Maybe they went, I don't know. It, but it was a palm tree. They, must, they got married down here, I think. So it must have been over on the beach somewhere. But, oh, she was beautiful. Beautiful dress. and She was just gorgeous. Hair all done. Usually when I see her hair is pulled back or, you know, in a, a cap or something. But she looked beautiful and, and so did he. <laughs> so that was very, very nice. Beautiful. Just beautiful. But yeah, he was he was definitely eye candy for sure. For sure. I'm assuming that he's a doctor also. I'm pretty sure he probably is. But anyway, she liked the bowl cozies I made her. So I made her two and I made a rooster one for uh for uh a crochet sister and um two bags. But I got so stiff. You know, even though I had my legs propped up, it's just, you forget how the time flies by when you're sewing like that, and you get really stiff. I have to keep moving, so it won't get so stiff. You like the sunshine, if you're all up there? It is a beautiful day here in Florida. <laughs> I'm supposed to get up to 75 today, and the sun is finally out. Yesterday, it was a breezy, cold day for... Now, me, I didn't even wear a sweater. I just wore a regular little dress to the doctors. Everybody thought I was crazy. I said, are you kidding? I feel like I've died and gone to heaven. <laughs> it was wonderful. So, anyway, I got to start thinking of, oh, um, Claire from 123, uh, Bob Wilson, 123. She uh, is doing the... Um, her cow for Christmas Eve cow, cow, and it's um, it's uh, popcorn. Uh, it looks like popcorn bag. Oh, it is cute. I watched it last night, and I saw her today. And they've been having those fires over there, and they're very close to where she is. But she said that um, so far they're okay. So that's good. Her and her father, they live close to each other. They're in. Australia, Sydney, Sydney, Australia, I think. So we should pray for them and make sure that um, Claire and her families um, make it through the, the, the fires and no one gets hurt. She says there's been two fatalities so far. So let's see, what else is going on? I think, oh, and uh, uh, Cheryl and I, uh, I got one box together. The box that's going to the first recipient. And uh, I don't know where my paperwork is. But we got the list together. And I can tell you who the first recipient. recipient <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Wait a minute. I'll tell you. We tried, What I tried to do. Is doing it geographically. And I'll tell you, all right, let me see, is it Cheryl's, 
might as well give you an update. What the hey? Uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna, um, just to let you know of those in the winter carousel. Um, I did up the the rules. I'm gonna put them in a, a little plastic um, sleeve, and that will go with the box wherever it, it goes. The box. Go, could people ask questions. That's where it is. If you have, if I don't answer the questions that you need, just just. You know, just email me. Let me pull this up a little bit. I know that sun. Okay, here we go. Now, I'll tell you, in Canada, here we go. Here's the Canadian ones. We did it this way for Canada. Uh, Cheryl is sending a box, and I'm sending a box. And Cheryl is, I had to go, I had to go, because I'm not familiar with the the provinces in, in Canada. So I had to get, excuse me, maps out. Cheryl is going to be doing west to east. And I'm going to do east to west. So Cheryl will be sending her box to Sandy. Sandy A. We'll get Sh Cheryl's box first. And I will be sending my box to Rosie. Rosie Nana's Stitching Lounge. And so Rosie will get the box first. And then once she gets the box, she'll notify me. And then we'll tell her who gets it next. That's the Canadian. Now Cheryl, I mean, this is, I had to list all the states. I mean, can y'all see that? I list all the states and try to, well, uh, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy because there was a lot in the same state. So I had to figure out if they were north, south, east, west, you know, all that stuff. So I did the best I could. It might not all work out, but that's the way it goes. So to start out, Cheryl will be sending her, um, her box will go first to Beth at Heaven's Peacemaker. She will get Cheryl's box first. And then for me... I'm going from south up, and I will be sending my box to South Carolina, to Bridget Queens Crochet and Knits. That's where my box is going. But I want, I, we decided kind of to um, wait and get the boxes out, like, for, so they'll get there um, after Christmas to your, to your location. Um, Y'all got a lot going on right now, and you don't need to have these boxes hanging out all over, hanging around all over the place. But we did get it all straight. I have uh, 18 people, and Cheryl had 19. So all the people that we had drawn names, not all of them came through. And then we drew some more names, and only one or two came through. So that's that's the way it goes. So that's kind of the way it's going. So I got the one box for the USA all packed up. And now I'm going to get the box ready for Canada. So I can get that in the mail also. So yeah, so we got that all organized. And I hope you all have a good time. And I hope that you'll find some yarn that you don't have locally um, in your box. And that, like uh, Lisa did, the paint box. And she now loves paint box. So that's. That's wonderful. So we have that going on. What else do we have going on? As Cheryl, I know a lot of people have been asking me. Cheryl has a um, has a YouTube channel. It's called With Hook, With Yarn and Hook, With Yarn and Hook. That's the name of her channel. If you'd like to go and see her. Um, excuse me. There's dust on my. There's kind of like dust right there, and I was playing with it. So let's see. So we got that all organized and ready to go. And I'm trying to think, is there anything else going on? But we should do something for my anniversary, January 1st. I'll put my thinking cap on, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, we should do something for my anniversary, don't you think? Yeah, we'll do something. I just have to think of what it is. I 
I should have an anniversary party. Maybe I'll have a live or something and we'll have, and we'll, uh, have some gifts or something. That sounds good, Billy. I like that idea. Yeah, on the first. Absolutely. I got it, guys. I got it. My brain is a working. Okay, my friends. I'm going to say goodbye. Have a Merry Christmas. I probably... I might be on one more time Monday or Tuesday. But if not, have a Merry Christmas. And I will see you right after Christmas. Or Christmas Day. Who knows? Who knows? When the old... When the old... um camera starts to call you you grab it and you go for it right yeah a lot of youtubers out there a lot of youtubers and um i think people are being uh the ones that have children i noticed like with um with ella like she's she um uh is being careful about not having her son come in on the when she's videoing um, and that's because I don't want anybody to get in any trouble. And I think, um, a lot of it is the children and all oh, Rose, Rose likes crochet. Uh, she has a great channel. She, uh, her daughter carrots no longer appears on her channel. So, um, I don't want anybody to get in trouble. I don't want anybody to be fine. So, uh, please be careful out there. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't see any problem here. The only thing is if they outlaw cats. <laughs> I'll have to give I have to give Rosie the boot. <laughs> and it's not gonna be on my foot either. <laughs> oh, the other thing I knew there was something else I wanted to tell you. Um Cheryl and I have, are planning our trip to Ontario. Yes to the winter fest or whatever it is we are so excited spring fest spring fest i guess it's called in ontario we're really excited about it um we're both we even got a wardrobe planned already <laughs> especially for me because i'm in florida i don't in ontario you know niagara falls ontario is going to be i think even in april it's going to be a little chilly right so um yeah i got sent an email to Rosie got some information I'm going to work on going ahead and get my I'm gonna fly up instead of I think it would be wiser for me to fly it's a lot of driving and I'd probably be too exhausted to enjoy the trip so I'll fly up to Harrisburg Pennsylvania and then Cheryl will come and pick me up and we'll drive up to I think we're gonna stay three nights uh, Friday Saturday and Sunday and that way we have sun, uh, people be leaving on Sunday, I'm pretty sure. And then we'll have, uh, you know, we'll drive back on Monday. And I'll have to arrange my flight, um, you know, so that it'll be, be okay. But she's, I forgot how many minutes she's from Harrisburg, but I don't want her to keep going back and forth, you know. So anyway, so we'll work it out. So yeah, we're planning on doing it. Was it's going to be a good time, good time. I'm really looking forward to it. It's my first trip out of in a long, long time. So it'll be it'll be fun to see all the all the girls and the husbands too. You know, they ride in there. We we have husbands and all that good stuff. So anyway, I'm going to say Merry Christmas, and I will be talking to you soon. And um, have a great weekend. I know you guys out there shopping and all that stuff. Don't think I I envy you because I don't. I do all my shopping right here. All my little fingers on my keyboard when I shop. But I'm going to be making I'm going to make some changes starting in January. So I will let you know what those are. Who knows? Life's too short. We gotta have fun.